and it's Nikhil from Raptor Maps. Now as you know, one of the things we do is we make radiometric ortho mosaics. And we've had quite a few people ask us, how do I load it into my GIS software? So today, I'm going to show you how to load your radiometric ortho mosaic into QGIS on top of a satellite image base layer and see the temperature values change as you move your mouse. We're using QGIS because it's free and open source, so anyone can get started right away. If you don't have it, just go to QGIS.org and download it for your operating system. Follow the installation instructions, and when you open it up, you'll see a screen like this. In order to create a new project, click on the blank page in the upper left corner, and then drag and drop your ortho mosaic into the layers panel. So you'll see if I toggle that on, my ortho mosaic appears. Now I don't have any satellite imagery yet, and I want to load that up as a base layer so I can see my ortho mosaic in the context of the rest of the world. Here's how we load satellite imagery. You click Web, Open Layers Plugin, Google Maps, and I'm going to load Google Satellite Imagery if you want. You can load Hybrid, even some sort of street map, uh, or Bing. So, Google Satellite, you'll notice first of all that it completely erased the ortho mosaic. But not really, the ortho mosaic's just hidden underneath. QGIS, just like Adobe Photoshop, works in layers. So all I need to do is drag the satellite imagery below the radiometric ortho mosaic. The next thing we want to do is add a little bit of color. So our radiometric ortho is in black and white, and we want to uh, make it a little more colorful to see the temperature differences a little more clearly. So the way we do that is we double click, and we can see that the render is single band gray right now. You want to go ahead and change that to single band pseudo color. So when you do that, you get a bunch of different options here. First of all is the min and max values. So this is where you can set your boundaries. You can set um, the min and max to just be the extents. You can do it by standard deviation. You can even do it manually. Um, let's leave it at the default for now. Um, for the color map, I'm going to choose spectral uh, because it's pre-built, but notice that you can add your own, you can choose from any of these options or you can even add your own color map. Now the nice thing about spectral is it's got red and it's got blue, but in this case red is the lowest value and blue is the highest and we want to reverse that. So all you have to do is hit invert. So that's good. Now blue is the lowest, red is the highest, and the mode is continuous. If you want to do some sort of isotherm, you can just hit equal interval and select the number of classes. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you'll notice that our map changed colors. But even so, when I move my mouse over the image, I'm not seeing the temperature values. So there's an easy way to do that. Um, let's go ahead and zoom into that layer nicely. So the way you do that is you use a plugin. You go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and there's what's called the value tool. So you just install that value tool. It's going to go ahead and put that right here. So let's get rid of that value tool. All I have to do is click Enable. And now, anywhere I move my mouse, you're going to see the temperature values. And that is how you load an ortho mosaic into QGIS and see the temperature values. That's all there is to it. Visit our blog at raptormaps.com blog for more tips on processing your drone data and keep the great questions coming. Have a good one.